guys. Welcome. Hey everybody, I see people are tuning in. Can you all understand me good enough? Am I clear enough? Let me know something. Hi everybody, welcome to my live. I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes before we start so everybody has a time to tune in. Okay, good. Perfect. I'm so excited. It's actually my first time going live. Because of quarantine, you know, we provide you with education live or tutorials on Instagram. So this is perfect. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna do this in English because, you know, we have multiple language people that are watching. So, super excited for this and to share with you. Okay, I see we have 21 people watching. Excellent. So, I prepared um, a look for you guys today and I'm going to share you some tips and tricks. So I'm super excited about this. Yes, hi everybody, welcome. So before we get started, I want to thank everybody who is watching now that invest the time in yourself to level up your skills because you know, we are closing the businesses for precautions about quarantine um, and it's not always easy when you are used to work in the salon and go in that hair every day from morning till night so now we don't have anything to do and it's you know it's kind of scary though so I'm gonna admit but anyway we are going to start so thank you for watching first of all um, I am here to share with you a beautiful look that I've created um, because this summer we are still going to see a lot of wave hair and a lot of texture but I know sometimes I have it myself that when I do a textured look that when I'm going to take some pictures to post on Instagram it's not always that polished enough and when you look at your client you're like oh my god that looks nice but when you are like posting your pictures or taking your pictures you're like mm, it's not what it looks like in real life it's kind of messy, it's not polished enough, it doesn't have a lot of shine. So this is what we are going to talk about today. So first of all, I'm going to show you a finished look already, just to give you a sneak peek. And it's actually a very beautiful wavy look. As you can see, it has a lot of texture and it gets in very nice and soft, but with different kind of waves different directions so this is what we are going to talk about anyway i'm going to change up my model this is one i've been preparing this morning because we are going to start with a beautiful polished blow dry look because this is going to be a foundation when you're getting in to the waves that you are polished you have a lot of shine you know because this is very important First of all, I washed my dolly head, my mannequin, with high-rise shampoo to give it a very lightweight feeling and I did also my Beach Envy Conditioner. This depends on what your client needs. If you have a client and she's bleached or she has a vivid color, we are going to adjust our hair care products. So we are going to talk this through with our client, what she really needs. Then, once it's been washed, we are going to start at towel dry hair. So on damp hair, I used my Redken One United 25 Benefits. It's actually a very nice and soft spray to give you a very moisturized feeling. So it's going to create a base in your hair to go in with a blow dry. We first started with a rough dry, just with our hands in a blow dryer to get it like half dry, 50%, and 
And then after that, I've been building up my products by using our glow dry oil in a combination with our gut stem at the roots and the glow dry at the ends. So zone two and three. This will also provide you a little bit of more grip when you go in with a blow dry. Because of the gut stem, it gives you a very natural feeling of volume. So once we've did that and we've done our blow dry and it's nice and smooth as my model is now, we are going to create some waves. So by sectioning up the hair, we are going to work from the nape area, going to the mid, and then our last section will be the top. So I am sectioning the hair with horizontal movements. First, we are going to section the top and we are going to look at the hairline. I don't know if you can see this. Okay. So when we see our curve going, mostly at you know the sleep of the head we will section that up in a horizontal line from one side to the other you know to keep working nice and clean and it will help you to have control over the hair when we are sectioning it up so make sure you are even on both sides My model isn't actually holding still. <laughs> you know, this happens when you have models, they're not always that workable or they're texting or they're doing whatever on their phone. So don't be shy to ask if they can sit quiet because it will help you to, you know, create some beautiful hair. So we are sectioning that up. What we are going to do now is we are going to section our nape area and mostly you have a little bone here like at the back of the head in the back center so we are going to use that to guide us with our sectioning so if everybody is still with me just make a hand or a thumbs up that I know it's clear enough for everybody. Okay. So we are going to start in the nape area. I'm going to use three different techniques with one curling iron. Make sure that your curling iron is kind of a mid thickness actually a little bit thicker but that's okay you know we can we can be creative you can use a thinner one you can use a bigger one it all depends also on how texturized you want to go or how long the hair is because this is kind of a nice length okay so what we are going to do now is we are sectioning the hair up with diagonal backward sections just like this we are going to go from right to center and then left to center and the middle one we are keeping that for our last part so we are making sure every hair you don't need is out of its way so what we are going to do is we are going in there with our curling iron and creating a twist wave so make sure the clip is underneath and your curling iron is on top of the hair so guide it very nice very smooth around curling iron and keeping out the ends heating that up taking some time and what we are going to do now is we are going to twist it out curling back in heating up twisting out and then gently pulling this out so we create more of a spiraled curl and we are just going to leave it there okay so on the other side we are going to do the same but in the 
other direction, always working away from the face. So back diagonal to center, clipping this out of the way. Make sure it's nice and smooth. I've already prepped the hair before with my Iron Shape 11 to protect from heat because this is very important and it also gives you a little bit more grip when you are curling around with the iron. So make sure you work nice and smooth, getting the clip underneath and curling around, holding the ends, heating that up and then we are going to twist it out. Twist it out and gently pulling out the ends. So make sure you take your time when you heat up because this will actually give you the results you want to go for. If you don't heat it up enough, it's going to be very soft. So make sure that the hold of the curl is perfect. Okay, so now we have our third section. I'm going this, making this in two different sections. So we are equal on both sides. I don't know if you can see it. So what we are going to do now, I'm just going to come that way so I can show you better. We are going to twist around the iron. So make sure your iron is also in a diagonal backwards direction and we are going to twist the hair. This will give you a softer wave than the previous one. So make sure you warm it up enough, holding this in your hand and kind of pushing it. Just push, push. And what I do then is kind of pulling this at the ends. So going in there with my left section underneath and twisting the hair around my iron. Make sure you heat it up enough. So you see because I used already some iron shape, it sticks together. So it gives you a bigger hold and a better hold. So pushing that and then just pulling at the ends. And this is our second technique. So our first one is wrapping around and twisting out with our iron. The second one is twisting the hair immediately around the iron. So there are two different things. Okay, so we are taking out our next section. What I'm going to do now is taking our first technique just here at the ears away from the face again and repeating that process. So again, sectioning up and what you can do is to create a little bit of more volume at the ears is just elevating the hair towards you and towards the face. So again, very nice and gentle, very smooth around the iron, heating that up, holding out the ends. This is very important. And then we are going to twist out, twist out. So don't be scared to twist enough. And this is the result we are going for. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Because now, our next section is our third technique. So we have this, we can elevate it as well. So we are going in there, wrapping this around two times. So you have all this ends still left. Pulling that out, very gentle. 
and now we are going to change direction. So we went away from the face, for the ends we are going towards the face. Heating that up. And you will see once we are pulling this out, we have a curl away from the face and it changed direction towards the face. It's kind of like a faux curl as we go. So we did now our first technique. This is our third technique. And we are going to mix and match with our second technique, which was the twisting around. So I'm going to change my body position so you can all see clearly. So again, going in there, twisting the hair, heating that up, holding the ends, pulling it out, and we are going to push this with our hands. If you want a stronger hold, you can first, before we push it, add a little bit of hairspray with our Fashion Work 12. So it gives you a little bit of a stronger hold. And then pulling this out. Now we have seen the three techniques and we are just going to repeat that process and mix and matching up those techniques together. You can also change direction. So I'm going to do a little twist here, but towards the face instead of away of the face, heating that up, pulling it out and pushing and like kind of make when you push a little bit of round movements with your hands because it gives you a very nice feeling when you're going to pull it out. It gives a lot of volume. So we are turning our dolly head. And now I'm going to do our third technique once again. So going underneath wrapping the hair once or two times around the iron. It all depends on the length of the hair. Heating that up, getting the iron out and changing direction once we are going to the ends. So as you can see, it gives you like a kind of an S shape and then a more curly feeling at the ends. Here we are going to do our twist technique. So twist, twist around the iron, towards the face, heating that up, pulling out and give it a little push. And when you are mix and matching up those techniques together, it just blends perfectly when we are going to finish afterwards. So our last piece of hair around the face, we are going in there with our curling iron, clip towards the floor, our curling iron on top of the hair and twisting around very nice and smooth again. Once we've done that, and heating it up, we are going to twist it out, slightly pulling the ends. So what we are going to get when we pull the ends out and we don't curl it anymore is that the ends are staying a little bit straighter and it, you know, it gives you a maximum of length when we are going in there with some curling techniques. So once this is done, we are just going to let this cool off and go into our top section. So, when we are sec sectioning the hair, we are taking the width of our curling iron to go in horizontal sections all around the hair. So, this is kind of it. Not too big. So, you keep a maximum of control on the hair. You can choose thinner sections 
but it will give you more of a curly feeling instead of a wavy feeling. The bigger the sections, the softer the wave. So remember that. Okay. Working very nice and gentle. Clipping everything away. And we are going to repeat the process. One thing that I'm suggesting, when you are doing a technique like this, you still keep up your spiral curl around the face, away from the face because it gives you a more of a natural feeling. When it goes towards the face, it's going to be like, it's not so nice for the client when the hair is constantly going in the face or it's going to be in the eyes or whatever. So keep it away from the face. So sectioning that up, making sure that the clip is underneath, the curling iron itself is on top and twisting nice and smooth, keeping out the ends. Once we've heated up, we are going to twist it out, twist it out and gently pulling out the ends. What we are going to do then with our next section This one, we are going to change direction. Going towards the face. This will be our third technique. So two times wrapping around, holding out the ends, heating that up. Make sure you don't burn yourself <laughs> because this is what happens when we are doing hair with heat styling products and everything that sometimes when you feel if the hair is hot enough we can burn ourselves so be careful with that the ends we've changed direction and we're just going to work around keeping that nice and smooth so we've had our first technique we've had our third technique and now we are going to do the second one. So again, elevating the hair, going on top and twisting around with the hair, heating that up. By going on top with your curling iron, you go with a minimum of volume at the roots. You can do the same technique, but going underneath and it will give you more volume. So still pushing, cooling that up, pulling that out. I'm going to work back from front to center back. So starting on the side. So again, our first technique, wrapping the hair all around, very nice and smooth, heating that up, and twisting out, gently going out of the ends, and let this cool off. Make sure when you're taking your second section, you do the same technique like you did on the other side. This will give you more of an even look. You can change that up if you want to and be creative, but we want to get an equal look on both sides. So we are going towards the face one or two times with our third technique, pulling the iron out and changing direction. Heating that up. So as you can see, it's going towards the face and away from the face at the ends. This is our twist, our second technique. And we are going to twist like we did here, away from the face. We are going to do the same, but on the other side, away from the face. So we're going underneath holding it vertical, 
doing that again, it slipped. So holding it vertical, heating that up. Warming that up. Now taking it in our hands, nice and gentle. Pushing it, a little bit of circle movement. And then just gently pulling at the ends. So as you can see, it's nice, smooth, shiny, but the texture is getting in there. So about the products, um, I've been using Iron Shape 11. I did it already in the hair, just to be safe. But if you want to go for more of a softer hold, we also have our Fabricate 03. The difference between the two is just how strong it will hold. The 11 is a higher number, so we all know with Redkin that higher numbers have a stronger hold, lower numbers have a softer hold. So make sure you keep that in mind because it depends on your client as well. If you have a client with, like me, actually with a lot of hair, natural curls, it's going to hold better than when you have a client who has thin, sleek, straight hair and we all know clients that are going in the salon and they're asking for a lot of volume but then they're like, my curls don't hold enough. So by prepping the hair with our guts 10 in our blow dry, it will keep a lot of more grip when we are going in there with our curling iron as well. So this is very important when you do a prepping before curling the hair that you choose your products wisely and that you adjust them to your clients. Like I love a lot of waves but I don't like for me personally that it's too big of a volume on top so I want it smoother at the roots and then go more in volume towards the ends. So when I go to my hairdresser and my colleague he knows that and he is adjusting the product so be creative. I'm just giving you some tips and tricks on what type of products you can use when you do a blow dry in prepping and when you go in there with our curling iron. So next what I'm going to do, most of the time when I have a client, I'm going to ask where she wants a separation on top. Does she want it in the middle or to the sides or does she flip it back and forth? This is also very important because of the placement of your curling iron. If you have a client who goes in the middle, you just go equally on both sides. When we have a client who goes more to the side with our lines, then we just adjust our curling techniques to that. If she flips the hair, because this is what I do all the time, if I flip my hair from left to right, then I'm going to put my curls just going backwards. This will give the client a choice where she wants to wear her hair, left or right or in the center. So we are taking a next section. And while I'm doing that, maybe I can answer some questions. I'm going to see if there are any questions. If you have questions, so please ask them. I can maybe, you know, go in there and discuss this with everybody. Are you guys excited? <laughs> because I am. Anyway, um, about the One United, actually, it's a beautiful product. Like I, I eat this for breakfast. I'm doing this with a lot of clients that it's, it's a perfect base when you go in for a blow dry because it gives you like the opportunity to protect the hair, to moisturize the hair, and it's actually also a perfect cutting lotion. So, because sometimes we know that people have dry hair and it doesn't work easily. So we use a cutting lotion and this is actually the perfect one. So back to our curls. We are still going around the face with our first technique, our twist out technique. 
So making sure that we work very nice and beautiful, placing on top of the hair, twisting this around our curling iron all the way to the ends, holding the ends, heating that up. Make sure you don't burn your clients. Sometimes it can happen when they don't hold still or place a comb in between. That is also an option. So once we've done that, heating up, we are twisting around and you can use tension. Don't be scared to pull on the hair. Very nice and gentle, of course. So taking our next piece, I'm always going to look to my previous one underneath. So this is actually the direction changing one. So I'm going now in there with my twisting around. So to make clear, the first technique is a twisting out. The second technique is a twisting around away from the face and twisting the hair around the iron. Make sure you don't mix that up. And this is actually a very beautiful wave technique that you can use this for updos, actually when you prepare the hair. Um, clients who want to go for a very natural textured look You can be very creative with it, and I hope you guys like it. Yes. Okay, so back to this one. So we did our first technique. We did our second technique, the twisting around. And now we are going back to our third one. Towards the face this time, because one underneath is going away from the face. So you're changing and switching of direction. And this will also give you a very creative feeling. When it changes direction, you know, you give a lot of texture to the hair and that is what we want to go for. So two times wrapping around, pulling it out, and then we are changing direction going. I'm just in front so I have to think about it sometimes you know we have to be very attentive with it okay so we had towards the face and the ends is going away from the face because we had three sections and we end up in the middle we are just going to mirror that to the other side so going from the front area okay I'm making sure that you all can see that perfectly so going from the front area pulling the hair towards your body position it will give you a lot of more volume towards the face so going in there with our first technique wrapping around all the way until you have the ends left keeping the ends out you can you can actually take it all the way in but if you do that you will take away the length of the hair so this is our first technique you're going to our next section And getting in there with our second technique. So our second technique was a twist around, going underneath, holding it vertical and twisting around the iron. Heating that up. Once we did that, we are letting go, pushing. So for the people who are just connecting here and who joins with us i'm creating a 3d wave technique to give a lot of texture 
but still have a polished look because this will provide you a better result when you take pictures when you post it on instagram it will help you to make your pictures actually you know smoother finished polished and i think finishing is what it's all about when we are working with social media because actually sometimes i have clients that my color isn't coming out the way I want it to be and you know I just want a perfect finished result okay so this is our third technique we are going towards the face with our first wrapping around once or twice it depends on the length of the hair holding out the ends pulling our curling iron out and just changing of direction at the ends heating that up pulling it out okay perfect so we are going to the top and what I'm doing always first is getting the fringe area I can go with like diagonal backward sections. You can go horizontal. It all depends on how the client wants to wear the hair from left to right, back, in the middle. So make sure you have a good conversation with your client before you go in there with your curling iron or blow dry because consultation is key to know what your client wants. Because if you don't do that, like I'm going to tell you a little story. If you don't do that, your clients won't be happy. The result will not be what you want it to be. And you won't be happy. You will go home and think about it. Oh my God. If I just stop this through with her, you know, you can prevent some problems. Because one time I had a client who needs to go to a wedding and you know she was running late so she came in she was like i need to be out of here in 30 minutes i was like oh you have a lot of hair this is not going to work so i talked this through with her and i was like you know if i'm going too fast the result will not be what you want she was like i don't care just give it a little bit of a wave the problem was that she had such heavy hair very long very straight she didn't mention um, if the curls hold enough. I didn't ask her, so that was actually my responsibility to ask. Instead of having a beautiful waved look, it was good for an hour and then she texted me, my waves don't hold anymore, my hair is back straight as before, she wasn't happy, she paid too much, you know, and it gives you a little discussion with your client. So by going in there and first Talk through what your client wants, touch the hair, feel the hair, ask her like how does it naturally curl or is it straight, you know, so you can work with that, choose your products wisely and you could prevent some problems because we all know unhappy clients takes a lot of energy. Anyway, so we are back at the front section and I'm just sectioning that up into pieces. I'm going to turn her around so you can see. Leaving the fringe area out and going in there with our second section towards the face with a spiral technique. So twisting around, heating that up, holding the ends so it doesn't slip. By doing this first, it gives you a lot of control on the placement of your curl and where you want the direction to go. So I think this is a very beautiful example on switching up because underneath we are going away from the face. Here we are going towards the face and the first section we are going away from the face. So it mixes up very beautiful. Wrapping around, going with our first technique, holding out the ends, heating that up, and then twisting out gently, 
pulling out the ends and just let it cool off. So as you can see, we are already creating a lot of different dynamics here. Now on the top of the head, I'm going section by section because it gives me a lot of control on where I want to place my curls, what direction I want to go for, if it needs a little bit more product, you know, we can change that up. So we are going for a separation in the middle, just going diagonal backwards, face frame as we say, keeping that out. And make sure when you section up the hair, you keep the width of your curling iron in your mind. It will help you to control the hair. So sectioning that up in two, leaving the front piece out, taking the second one and twisting towards the face. So holding it vertical, twisting, twisting, heating that up. Just mirror what you are doing from left to right. Imagine there's a mirror in between because it will give you a beautiful equal result on both sides. So pulling that out. Back at the front, we are doing our first technique. So elevate or over direct to the hair gives you a lot of volume. When your client is like me and she's like, I don't want any volume around the face, you're keeping it in our natural falling position down. But she wants volume, so you're over directing towards the face, putting or curling iron on top and wrapping the hair beautiful around our curling iron, keeping out the ends. So still with those techniques. Those are three beautiful techniques you can mix, mix and match, mix. mix and match up together. So pulling that out. Let it cool off. So you can mix and match up together to get a very nice and texturized look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going in there and separate the crown area. I'm going to turn around. So with a horizontal section, because when I take it back up, you'll see it gives you the width of our curling iron and a lot of control for our placement. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check my previous curls underneath. So we had our switching direction. We had our spiral curls twisting around. So to create a lot of volume, I'm going back, section that up in the middle. Make sure you work very nice and smooth. And we are actually, because this is going away from the face and it turns out in the middle, we are going towards the face. With our first technique, wrapping around, wrapping around, holding out the ends, holding it vertical, your curling iron. So you can take it out nice, and gentle, doing the same on the other side. So wrapping around, changing direction towards the face, holding out the ends, holding it vertical, so you can gently twist it out. Perfect. So, a little recap for everybody. 
three different techniques to combinate in one look. We have our first technique is a wrapping around and pulling it out. Our twist technique is our second one, is that we twist the hair around the curling iron and the changing direction is one that we wrap around on the right side and then the ends we change direction to the left side or the other way around. It's all about being creative and this will be a very nice technique for the summer because as you can see my dolly head is colored with our beautiful VRO shades from the Shade CQ Gloss. So at zone 1 we have the darkest shade and then we are going to blend that out towards zone 2 and 3. Go back in. We did the wrap arounds, so we are going to do the same. This one is away from the face, so we are just mirroring that to the other side. Going up, nice and gentle, wrapping around, holding out the ends, holding the curling iron vertical, and then twisting it out gently. Okay, what's left is our top section. I'm going to make sure that she looks straight. Hi everybody, I see everybody waving, so I'm going to wave back. So what we have now is our top section. So we have our separation here in front and we are just going to follow that up making sure it's beautiful straight you can go for a zigzag se separation it all depends on what your clients up for so again our last pieces you know it's small here so i have to be careful that i don't trip or fall over my tripod so this section is going to be too big, so we are going to separate that in two. And I just did the wrap around, so here I'm going to use the change direction. So again, away from the face, our first wrap. So putting the curling iron on top wrapping around, holding out the ends, gently warming up, pulling out the iron, and we are going to change direction towards the face. So changing with the ends, heating that up, and pulling it out. So you see, this is a perfect example from our change direction. It goes away from the face and then gently changing our direction. So this is a fun thing to do. This is our last section on the right side of the head. And we are going to do our wrap around technique one more time away from the face. So placing our curling iron on top wrapping the hair around, leaving our ends out, holding that, you know, that you have control, that you have not enough t tension, that you have a lot of control on the hair. Once we've done that and it's heated up, we are going to twist, 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 and gently pulling out. So this side is done. What we are going to do now is go to the other side and we are just going to mirror from left to right. So this is going to be too big. We are separating this in two. We are doing our changing direction, so wrapping around once or twice, leaving us leaving out enough, excuse me, 
heating that up, pulling it out, and changing direction. So the ends go towards the face. And gently pulling out. Perfect. This is actually super fun though, like this is my first time and I'm definitely gonna do it again. So our last section is going to be a wrap around and twisting out away from the face. Twisting around, twisting around, leaving out the ends a little bit, holding enough tension. And then twisting out very gently going like this. Okay, so we did our curling technique. So as you can see, it has a lot of movement. It's actually very beautiful. You see the color is popping out because this is actually very important that when you color hair, everybody loves colored hair. If you have vivid colors or um, even those soft pink tones like this or blondes or like me, you know, it gives a lot of dimension and it, I think it's actually the best way to show off your color, even though when it's a design you did, like just a straight bob, it will change up immediately and it gives you your client a feeling that she can mix up and match up with different kind of styles. She can wear it straight, she can wear it like this, glam waves, whatever. So. I think this is very beautiful. Thank you Liv for calling me the queen of finishing. <laughs> so once we've done that and it's all cooled off, we are going to finish that up. So I have a couple of products that you can use. First of all, our new Triple Dry 15. It's actually my new favorite because I've been using like our two-day extender dry shampoo but now we have this one and it gives you a lot of grip but it keeps like the movement in check and it's very gentle for the hair so i'm going to use this one by shaking you can also go for our wax blast but this one won't be moved around as much as our triple dry because this is very lightweight um, but still controls enough so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray that all around the hair and going in with my hands don't be scared to like really lift it up going underneath if you guys are afraid you're going too close Here's a hot tip. Taking our sprays, the biggest one you have, placing this, and this will be how far you go with your sprays. Because if you go too close, you will make the hair wet again and you will lose the movement of the hair. So this is a little tip and trick. So again, far enough going in there, and don't be afraid to move around. Okay, once we've done that, I'm just going to, like using my hands as a comb and going in. Very nice and gentle. At the front as well. When you have clients and they're like, it's not big enough, I have a little tip and trick for you. Once we've done that and we went in with our hands, you will take some pieces out, some sections out, very natural. You will get a little bit of tension so you have control going in there with your pointy finger and the middle one. <laughs> and just like pushing the hair very gently up towards the head. So as you can see, it will immediately create more texture and it will provide a lot of hold when we finish up the hair. 
because we all know clients who want to go to a party and you know they have a turtleneck um, sweater on or anything and they just pull it out they, they're not careful enough you know so if we do this technique it will prevent them from going to flat so again using just a very natural piece taking it out with your hands clipping between holding tension and just pushing and pushing and pushing it up so you have control on how big you want to go if you're like oh this is one too much just go in there with your fingers and be creative be gentle so it gives more texture but it's still in respect with the curls you've been setting in. So if you see the difference now, this one has a lot of volume and this is the natural one. So I'm repeating that, taking our section, holding tension, fingers, and just gently pushing that up towards the face. And you can like Pull it out a little bit, like with moving with your thumbs and fingers, just going in there, taking a piece, pushing it up, and you're doing that all around the head. By going in there first with our triple dry 15, it will give you more control when you do that. Because our triple dry is already a texturizing spray, but it gives you a little bit of a more dry finish. You can use powder grip as well, but then you have to be careful that you don't use too much. So as you can see, we are still going around. Take your time because it's very important that we have a perfect finish when we are going to take pictures for our Instagram or social media because we all know those clients who come in with beautiful pictures of hair and they want that but sometimes it's like oh how do I even begin with that you know I have that all the time I'm gonna be honest Sometimes you have very creative moments other times you are thinking and you know your head hurts how am I going to do this? But this is actually a perfect technique. So we are going to wrap this up. I hope you guys like it. So I want to say thank you for watching. As we see our finished result, a lot of texture, a lot of movement, very beautiful. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, so I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you like it. So my name is Glenda, I'm from Redken, Belgium, and I'm an artist in finishing.